We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. We have stopped! I am changed. I've been around since the beginning of time. Ask not what your country can do for you. Over the years, I've had many faces. Over the years, I've had many looks. I have a dream. But I've always had the same goals. We to make this world a better place by helping those who need it most. To never turn my back when things get tough. And to show that positive can always overpower negative. I am change. And this is what I wear. Hello, is anyone out there? Rick Warren, member of the CFR. Notice the white horse? He announced this global peace plan in the spring of 2005. This plan is thought as a reformation in Christianity and a worldwide spiritual awakening. What does the acronym PEACE mean? Planting churches. Equipping leaders. Assisting the poor. Caring for the sick. Educating the next generation. In order for the peace plan to work, it requires help from the government, businesses, and churches. This is part of the New World Order. Remember, to those who believe in Dominion theology, once the church gains control of all government, businesses, and social institutions, the Messiah will come. Here are some interesting quotes by Mr. Rick Warren, there are 2.3 billion Christians in the world. Probably 600 million of them, I believe, are Catholic. And so, when you take all of these together, it is the largest network in the world. An interview with Charlie Rose on August 17, 2006. Now when you get 25% of America, which is basically Catholics, and you get 28 to 29 percent of America, which is evangelical together, that is called the majority. Moreover, it is a very powerful bloc. If they happen to stay together on particular issues, I would encourage you to look at this evolving alliance between evangelical Protestants and Catholics, Rick Warren, Ness of the Modern Mega Church. Yes, I too would have each of you take a very close look at the alliance between today's Protestants and Catholics. You see Methodists, Lutherans, Mormons, Pentecostals, Seventh-day Adventists, Full Gospel Churches, Charismatic Churches, Baptists, Presbyterians, Jehovah Witnesses, Fundamentalists, Evangelicals and Protestants denominations are all ecumenical, that is, uniting with the Roman Catholic Church, with the Jesuit general, called, the Black Pope, pulling the strings. The man, Ignatius Loyola, who founded the Society of Jesus, also called, the Jesuits, was a member of the Illuminati. There is an obvious connection between the two. Now we know who really runs the show there at the Vatican. And it is not the man in white. Because of this major event that has been transpiring for quite some time, all Protestants are no longer called heretics, they are just, separated brethren. Mama's calling her daughters back. The Vatican II Council, held during the early 60s, brought much healing. This was the first groundbreaking event for Christian unity. Just look at all these religious leaders submitting to the Roman Catholic Church.
I speak the truth, she enjoys holding that pagan torch. This, is incredible. The onward Christian soldier, along with the black mercenaries, are no different from the Muslim extremists. They too are training their children up for the final jihad, the holy war. Why is this occurring? Because there is a religious war on the horizon that will involve every religion, and every nation on this planet. This historical event will cause more loss of life than the time of the Anabaptist. More gruesome than the Inquisition. This war will be more bloodier than the Crusade, and more monstrous than the Holocaust. Before we learn about this war, we must know about the fourth beast of the Prophet Daniel's dream, 